everyone and welcome to this video. Super excited that you're here on my channel. So in today's video, what we're going to be doing is looking at the videos inside of your Facebook group. So maybe you've gone live into your Facebook group from your mobile phone or your desktop and you want to go in and optimize your live video for replay. Now, I'm also going to show you as a bonus a way of downloading that video from your Facebook group so that you can go off and share it across your other social media channels. OK, so before I do that, just a little bit about me. So my name is Anita Wong and I'm a digital coach and tech enabler. And I help you learn how to use the tools at your fingertips to get the visibility you and your business deserves. And I'm also an Instagram and Facebook stories expert. OK, so let's jump into my laptop and we're going to share my Facebook group with you. And we're going to go to a video that I went live with today. OK, so here we go. OK, so you should see me up in the corner. I'm just going to make myself a little bit bigger. And now here we are inside my Facebook and Instagram stories training group. So if you want to learn how to use stories for your business, then maybe you might want to jump in here. I'll drop the link below this video just in case you might want to. OK, so here we are inside my group now. I have a video that I did earlier on today. As you can see, this was just six hours ago. And what I want to do with it is I want to optimize it so that the first thing they see is a thumbnail of my choice from within the video. Now, one thing to just add to this is that when we do go in to edit this live video, the editor inside the live video inside your groups is a little different to the editor that you would find on your Facebook business page. If you want to learn how to optimize your videos, on your Facebook business page. I've already done a video of, on that, so I will pop the link to that underneath this video as well. OK, so you go to the video inside your group. Now, if you can't find it for any reason, what you can do actually is go to this more button here and click on the media option, and that will also open up your photographs and your videos. But as this one is one that I've just done, I've actually got it as an announcement at the moment. So what I need to do is I actually need to click on the video to open the video up. A reminder of I'm the just going to drop the volume down. Tuesday night, and then half an hour. So now I've turned the volume off, we can actually hear me what I'm doing. So here we have the video. So what we need to do now is up here, there are these three little dots. Now I call them the magic dots of the internet because you'll find these three little dots on lots of different social platforms as well. Anyway, go ahead and click those three little dots, and you'll have some choices. Save video, which means that you save your video to your saved videos which we don't need to do as the admin the person who created it you've got the edit video which is where i'm going to go in just a second and then we have the download video so if you want to download your video to your own computer so that maybe you might want to edit it or repurpose it outside of your facebook group then this is how you do it all you have to do is click download video and Facebook will do its stuff and download that video directly to your computer. The best thing for, doing, for you to do is to label that video. So I'm going to put in here Facebook group challenge one. And I'm going to save that into my computer. And what Facebook will do is, as you can see, it's downloading it to my computer. And that means that that video I can now go off and maybe take snippets from to use for promotional videos or actually share that video somewhere else. OK, so let's go back into optimizing your video for replay, because that's what video is all about. When you go live in your group or you upload a video, most of the time you're going to get more views on the replay. As you can see here, someone's already watching the replay, which is awesome. So go ahead and click those three little dots again. But this time we're going to click edit video. OK, so if you're used to optimizing your videos on your Facebook business page, then you'll notice that this is different. If you have never gone into your Facebook videos, whether that's on your page or in your group before, then this is what you should be doing every time you do a video, whether it's live or pre-recorded. Now, if it's a live video, it's a really good way of optimizing it for replay. Now, inside of your Facebook group, the editor is much more limited, but it still gives you the opportunity to optimize it as, as you wish. So in this video, you can also tag people at the beginning of this video if you want to. Now, I don't really usually do that because I like to tag them on the outside if I think this video is of use to them. The one thing that I really want to do is change the thumbnail. Now, in your Facebook group, you cannot upload a thumbnail to your video, nor can you choose a frame like you can on your business page. However, Depending on the length of your video will depend on how many thumbnails you get to choice, but usually you get up to 10. So here you can see I have one out of 10. 
So I can go through and choose one of the thumbnails that I think might be more appealing and eye catching to my audience when they're flicking through my group to catch their attention, you know, like to stop that scroll so that they'll actually stop and engage with my video. So I've got 10 choices. So I can go through and look, I'm gonna actually put one of me and either that one or I think it's this one, that one or this one. I'm gonna go with this one. Now, obviously your choices are restricted by what Facebook, you know, how Facebook catches you. So um, do try to smile as much as possible. Uh, maybe use your hands a little bit, you know, just to get those gestures in like I'm doing now. <laughs> okay, so where is this video recorded? You don't have to put that in, but if you wanted to put the location in, you could do that as well. Now the description's really good because if you planned your video inside your group, and you were planning on doing a live video, you might have been writing as if you were going, it was going to happen. And now that it's happened, you want to change the content to the past tense so that people know what was in the video and what the video is about. So I've already done, it, done that a little bit, but let's just go through it. Here is day one of the Instagram for Business Challenge. Today, we looked at creating a story for your business about you. Click on the comments to get the ideas rolling. So there's a comments in the comments area, I've already put the template and everything. So what I could do here is at the end of rolling, I could do don't forget to ask me any questions that might pop up. OK, so I'm pretty happy with that. You could put a link in there if you wanted to. So if you wanted somebody to do something like a call to action, you could do that. Now, because this video is inside my group and it's a challenge that people have already signed up for to take part in, the only call to action for me is to share their um, screenshot of their story. So here I could put, don't forget to share your screenshot of your business story with me today. Okay, so that's basically asking my audience to do something, which is really, really cool. Okay, so now what happens is that um, the captions here are automatically created by Facebook. So Facebook have actually taken the initiative, initiative to automatically create captions for you whilst you're live. So mine's already set to do that. And as you can see, backup language, I don't need to have anything. And then if I wanted to, I could upload my own SRT file. Now, to get the SRT file, you would have to download the video like I've just shown you and then send it off to a tool such as Rev.com or upload it into a video editing tool such as wave.video. You'd need to send it to somewhere that would create the SRT files for you. And because Facebook is Facebook, you would need to make sure that it was an SRT file that is Facebook ready. Now you can prohibit people from embedding. When tick, people cannot embed your video on third party websites. Now, obviously, if you understand how groups work, there are two different types of groups. There are private groups and public groups. So this really is to do with more of the public group, because in a private group, people can't share your video out of the public group without people being in the group. So although when we click those three little dots, it said um, there was a link to copy, you can copy the link to the video, but it will always make people come into the group to view it. So that's a way really of you growing your group if that's what you wanted to do. So if you're doing some really awesome trainings inside your group and you wanted to encourage people into the group to watch the trainings, you could copy the link to this, and then send it to them and say, hey, I've done some awesome training inside my group. Why don't you come in and take a look? That's a good way of making, of helping your group grow. OK, so you could do that if you wanted to. Category, there's not that many, but as you can see, there are some. So beauty and fashion, business. So I'm going to put business because it is a business orientated video for me. So you can choose the category that you wish. Now, privacy, it shows you. It's actually in a group, Stories for Business. So once you've done that, all you need to do is click Save. And what you've done now is you've optimised your live video for replay. So if we go back to the group and we just let Facebook do its stuff. So I'm going to refresh the page for a moment. And then what should happen is that, as you can see here, oh, did you see that? It was actually on the file I wanted it to be. So let me just quickly refresh it again. So I want to show you that I've optimised it. 
As you can see, oh, again there. Let me just do it again. Refresh the page. As you can see, it's got the thumbnail that I selected before it moved. So you can see that it had the thumbnail. And also what you can see is that I've optimized the writing. So don't forget to share your screenshot in the comments below. So I've actually optimized my video. OK, so let me just quickly stop my share. So that really is how to optimize and download a Facebook group video. So what I did is I went live into my group earlier on today. And then what I did now on this video is I went back into my group. I clicked on the video. I clicked the three magic dots on the top right hand side and I opened up the video so that I could optimize it ready for replay. I also added a thumbnail from the choices. I changed the text. I added a category and you can, if you wanted to, copy the link to the video and share it outside of your group as a way of bringing people in. So that's a bonus strategy for you there. So if you ever want to try and grow your group, if you're doing some really awesome training inside your group, which I'm sure you are doing, if you want to grow your group and get people to come into your group, then the thing you could do is to share a video with them. They can't view that video without being in your group. So you can write, the, write to them in an email, copy the link to the group, send them the email and say, hey, I've got this really good video inside my group. I would love for you to learn from it. Why don't you jump into my group and view it? They'll click that link and they'll have to go through your group entry before they can watch that video. OK, so that's the end of this super quick how to optimize your live videos for replay inside your Facebook groups. So my name is Anita Wong. Don't forget to give me the thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell if you would like notification of the next time I upload a video or go live. And if you have any question whatsoever about this video or about Instagram, Facebook and video marketing, please don't hesitate to pop them in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. OK, all that's left to say is have an awesome day and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.